Welcome back everyone, it's Abdallah here with another exciting episode of Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Pokemon Let's Go Eevee Master Trainer Battles, where we are on the road to the Grandmaster title. So, today's episode is all about Ekans and Arbok, showing you guys exactly what you need to do in order to beat those Pokemon with as minimal candy investments as possible. Today's going to be a good episode. If you guys have missed the previous episode with Spiro and Firo, that was a joke. Go check it out, it was so funny. Anyway. So, yeah, let's take a look at our Ekans, and we're going to take a look at our Arbok, and we're going to make one, and it's going to be really fun. So, let's take a look. I'm not really sure the requirements. We do all these battles blind, so I'm not really sure what exactly is going to happen, but it's a fun time. So, this is our Ekans on board. Our Ekans is at level 97. It is an adamant nature, so it's going to have naturally higher attack stat. You guys also notice that it's relatively, um, relatively fast. 121. It has access to some really, really good moves in order to KO the opposing Ekans. You'll see over here that it does have access to Earthquake. That's really all you need. Unfortunately, we can't Toxic Stall because Ekans is a poison type and it can't get uh, poisoned. Glare will also help out with potentially... Uh, what is that, 100%? Yeah, it's 100% for Paralysis. Poison Jab is Stab, but you're not going to use it for Ekans right now. And Rock Slide could be something that you can use in order to get Para Flinch. So you can uh, paralyze them with glare and then use rock side to flinch them directly afterwards. So it's really going to depend on if our 121 speed stat is going to be good enough to beat the opposing Pokemon. So anyway, we're here. I hope you guys are enjoying the li this series as well. Uh, I hope you guys are also keeping up with every single one of these. And yeah, it does take a lot of time to raise up Pokemon to level 100, but hopefully you guys are all familiar with how exactly to do that super easy via the tutorial videos that I've made in the tips and tricks playlist linked in the description below. So here we go, Ekans, uh, we're gonna jump on board. Ekans, let's go. Okay, so there has to be like an Ekans trainer over here, right? Some dude, yeah, no, are you, that's not it? Uh-uh, that's not it. Oh, you're in the grass, huh? Never mind. I'm, I'm like looking way past this dude. Oh, Ekin, scientist. Okay. No, I'm sorry. It's on the other Route 4. Haha, -ha, silly me. Alright, so it's the other Route 4. Just looking at it. Hey, Pikachu, we're gonna go the other way. So, instead of going through Pewter and all the way through Mount Moon, we're gonna go through this area of Route 4, and then we'll absolutely glide on over that way. So you're going to need a Pokemon that can glide on over, or you can take the long route. It doesn't matter. If you have a Charizard, I presume 90% of you guys all have Charizard. You guys can use that. I like rocking a Dragonite because that's one of my favorite Pokemon in Generation 1. So we're going to add him to party, and then I should be able to use this Dragonite to fly all the way the heck over that way, and we should be all set for this Ekans trainer. Okay, here we go. We are going to take out a Pokeball, and let's hit it. Hit the road, let's go. Look at this, flying in the sky. So here's Route 4, there's your Ekans trainer right on board, let's get him. So I am going to jump right down. Okay, Dragon, I thank you. You're feeling care carefree is the, way to is the way to be, let's go. All right. No, we're not checking your summary, come on. Okay, can, can you land? Okay, thank you. <laughs> All right. Here we go. Ekans Master Trainer, guys. It's coming on board right now, right here. So Ekans Master Trainer uh, comes with an Ekans, and the Ekans has three moves. It's going to be Glare, Bite, and Rock Slide. Glare, Bite, and Rock Slide. So Bite's not really going to do much work, but Rock Slide will, especially if he's able to paralyze us first turn with that Glare and then try some para flinching nonsense. So, we'll have to see what we can do. I think the only thing that I want to try right now is is doing back-to-back -back Earthquakes. Let's just go on the offensive. Earthquake is a technical machine. You can teach it to your Ekans, and it's going to be super effective damage against the other one. So, provided I don't get flinched, this should be a two-hit KO. Are you kidding me? All right, well, there you have it. You don't need any candy for that. He's going to naturally outspeed you based off of his awakening values on it. But as long as you have Earthquake, it's done. Are you joking? I can't believe this is your Ekans is too strong. All right. Cool. 
Okay. Well, that was uh, very, very eventful. Yep. Let's see how the Arbok one plays. I hope the Arbok one's gonna be a little bit more of a challenge. Or you know what? I don't even care. If I could just one-shot you with Earthquake, let's count it in. So, here's the thing. Like, you can go with like a level, maybe like a 60, level 60. Or maybe even you can push a level 50. Uh, a level 50 Ekans. And with your level 50 Ekans, you should be able to go in do one KO for half damage, and if he decides to rock slide you, then pretty much you're gonna take it and you're gonna win. So just two hit KO him. You don't need any candy investment for that one at all. That was super easy. Getting this Ekans all the way up to level 90 or whatever was totally overkill, so keep that in mind. Okay, so now we're gonna go find the Ekans uh, Master Trainer, or sorry, the Arbok Master Trainer. He's over here in the game corner, the secret hideout for, uh, the Team Rocket guys. I'm surprised that this place isn't like made over though. Like the people who own the real estate were just like, dude, what happened here? Why are why are our electric bills through the roof? Oh, is it because we have these hundreds of moving tiles that keep on going nonstop 24 seven? Yeah, maybe we should turn those off and renovate the basement. Just saying. Pokemon in real life, right? Real life problems. All right, so here we are. This is the uh, the the Arbok Master. Uh, what I'm gonna do right now is we're gonna give a rare candy to one rare candy. I swear it. I swear we're only gonna give one this time. I already wasted two of them. They're so rare. All right, one rare candy to Ekans for the episode. I'm not gonna press B. Ekans is gonna go to level 98, which is very good. You guys already know how to level up your Pokemon in the game very easily. I taught you guys all that stuff. So yeah, let's let's knock it out. Now, Arbok has Glare, Facade, Wrap, and Sucker Punch. So that's gonna be interesting. It can go multiple ways. He can outspeed me and use Glare, and I can get paralyzed, and that's gonna give him a free turn. Uh, he can go Sucker Punch, which is probably gonna be pretty devastating on me, but is he honestly, Arbok, going to survive? Of course you're not gonna learn Crunch. Not right now, dude, forget that. Are you honestly going to survive a super effective Earthquake coming off of my Arbok. I don't think you are. And it does help that I'm adamant nature, but like still, I don't think you even need an adamant nature to do any of this stuff at all. So you can see over here that our attack stat has a little bit of candy on it, but that's overkill. You don't need that whatsoever. So uh, right on board, uh, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna be all set. So Earthquake, Galera, Poison Jab, Rock Slide. It, your moveset doesn't matter. Earthquake is the only thing that matters. Here we go, watch. Because I don't believe that this Arbok will take more than two Earthquakes. And he doesn't even have Earthquake himself. It's like, you didn't take a look at all the TMs that you were able to learn, Scientist Adam. But there, there's what, 153 Master Trainers out there? They can't all be winners, right? All right. Arbok v Arbok, level 75 versus 98. Level 75 with awakening values, but 98 with like a little bit of attack candy. And somehow we outspeed. I don't know how that works. Okay, he's taking at least three to four of these. Wow. Well, there it goes. This one's actually gonna be a challenge now. So I got the paralysis. I am going to, ooh, he doesn't have rock slide. He's got wrap and glare, facade and sucker punch. So Facade's not gonna do anything. Sucker Punch is strong. I got paralyzed just now. So this is gonna be real big work now. He's just gonna Sucker Punch me. And I got paralyzed again. Oh my gosh, I'm talking mad trash against this guy. How about a glare of your own? Go ahead, Sucker Punch this, kid. Oh, he's a Facade instead. Wow, predicted, dude. I got owned, guys. I got owned. And that's just luck of the draw. Dude, I'm telling you, it's luck of the draw. Let me start off. Watch, watch me start off. I get two fully parad. KO me, dude. Yeah, that's gonna be a three to four hit KO, min max damage. He got a paralyzed. Wow. I should try. I should try a rock slide. I should have done that. I sh I knew it, knowing that I wouldn't be able to KO right there. He used Masadi one. All right, that's fine. It's just data. We're gathering data right now. Whatever. Beat me once, I'll beat you next time.
Oh, I got two pair of hacks. That kinda, that was kind of lame. So, you know what? That's fine. That's cool. Go for it. I got an Arbok. Let's go. Let's hit it. Here's my Arbok. Enjoy it. Scientist Adam with the Sucker Punches. Sucker Punches was good. That was that was a great strategy because he's not he's not fast. This Arbok for some reason does not have any speed at all. Its speed stat is low, so you're easily able to get the glare off, which is fine. We're going to use that to ensure that we can get him to get some parahacks going, and he misses his turn. Okay, so now we're both here. Okay, fair battle. I want to try. I want to try some rock slides. Let's get some para flinch going, man. Or I can just focus on Earthquake. Here we go, rock slide. Sucker punch right through me. Dang, dude. That hurts, too. So if he's going to, if he's going to Sucker Punch, then Rock Slide's not even worth it, to be honest. He can just Sucker Punch me the entire time. So that's kind of switching up my moveset now. So I get fully parried, and he's going to use Facade. How? That's so random. Oh my gosh, it's Facade. So I don't even want to. I don't even want to paralyze him. I get parried again. This is real garbage, guys. I think I want to, I think I want to learn Facade. Dude, that's such a joke. Come here, man. I'm talking mad trash about this guy and he's rocking me. So let's, let's figure this out. Hey, Boldman. Good luck. Oh, thanks, bud. Gizmo says good luck. So the only thing that I'm going to do is if I, if I glare him, the odds of him using Facade and KOing me like two hits is really high. So what I need to do is I just need to Earthquake and then we win. Just let me just Earthquake four times and just make it through it. That was my original strategy going into this. Just Earthquake, like we did with Ekans. But glaring is totally a thing. Hi, boy. Give me this boy. Give me this boy. Wish me luck, dude. This is Gizmo, guys. Facade is not gonna do much. That's still a good chunk of damage, though. So if I get a max damage roll on this Earthquake, I could potentially win. Here's another facade, and then he can he can do Sucker Punch and then win. So this is all, if I get max damage, I win. I don't. If I get a Paralysis, then I lose. Sucker Punch, that's fine. I can survive one. And EQ, that's it, GG's. All I just needed was GG here, Gizmo. We call him GG, and GG is a good game too. So we win, that's it, good job. Good job, Gizmo. Thanks for uh, thanks for the good luck, dude. Can I get a kiss? Can I get a kiss? No? You want a kiss? All right, fine. We won. Thanks to Gizmo coming over here. All right, so yeah, that does take a little bit of luck to not get like fully parried, but it just takes a little bit of time just going through it. And we get the Arbok Master. So, ladies and gentlemen, good games. Very very good games. Loved it. Loved it. Loved it. Okay, cool. Well, that's going to be it for our episode. That was relatively short. We beat those two Pokemon. Uh, next up on our list is going to be Pikachu, right? Right? Ooh, yeah, it's going to be Pikachu and Raichu. So that's going to be awesome. Now, I'm going to make the video so that you guys, if you guys are on uh, Team Pikachu, as in Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu, it's going to be super easy for you guys to beat the Master Trainer with all those crazy movesets, right? But I do have a Pikachu on the ready I think at level 100, just a wild one, so those of you guys on Team Eevee, you can absolutely jump on board and play it along too with this particular strategy. So, we've got that. I do have the Raichu, and uh, we're going to be fine, so it'll be good. Good next episode, right, Gizmo? Absolutely. Okay, well, thank you guys so much for watching. This one was an easy one. Let me know in the comments what nature or moveset you guys used. I think the only thing you need to do is just Earthquake and then win, so very minimal candy efforts. Uh, I don't think nature's really mattered with that one. Maybe during the Arbok fight in order to ensure it, but it was a four hit KO anyway. So anyway, that's going to be it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. We're going to continue on with even more of these master trainers with your help and support. So do me a favor and smash that like button if you guys want to see me to continue on with the entire Let's Play series, right? Going from Pokemon 001 to Melmetal 153. Watch the playlist over here, newest video on the channel there, recommendations, and don't forget to hit that subscribe. Hit it for Gizmo, subscribe for Gizmo, and we'll see you guys on the next exciting episode. Have a great day. Take care.